Also notice this content manager and Steam Workshop, which is excellent things of, uh, in order. Options menu hasn't got anything in it really, apart from uh, some uh, end user agreement. There's no options at the moment, but hey, we'll get to that. Uh, just click. But right now, I'm going to go jump into Sandbox so you can see initially what you get. But bear in mind, this is the better weekend one. So things can and will change. Um, they're initially trying to get just to see how the coaster physics are for people, you know, just to get a bit of feedback. So if you guys even want to comment down below anything you see during this video, like maybe they could tweak this and maybe they could tweak that, and you know, developers can then see that and be able to implement it in some way. Because this is kind of what they're doing, they're, they're taking some feedback as well. And obviously if I see things and I don't like and whatnot, but there's a lot I do like. So let's uh, head into here. So we got, we've got Frolicking Forest right now. So I'm just going to name the park right now. Smash... Uh, I just called the other one Smash Test, Best, so, Test Bed. So I'm just going to put Test Bed 2. And you also have unlimited money currently because it's basically just they want to get the idea. Now the game does say it will take a few minutes um, sometimes on first or boot up of your park. Other than that, the game runs pretty darn fantastically. Um, there's a few things I'm going to be going over in the video. It's like the Terran tool. There's a pretty fantastic Terran tool in the game. Um, the you know pathways, the different styles you can do. You can also build bridges, which are really cool. Um, I know it's because like, it's so simple the way you just hold shift. Um, make sure you know one through four depends on what you are like. Um, you can actually have some of your coasters that are up on a, a higher platform, and you know people have to go up hills to get to them and everything. But yeah, you load in and it just looks so good already. I love this entrance of this park. I can't actually go into it though. It's just like, can I? I just want it. Good. Also, pumpkins everywhere. I like it. Yes, this was recorded on Halloween, so if it's still not there, I don't know, because this is up to a Monday, I believe. But we've got a few things in here. I'm just going to pause the game just now. Actually, leave it going. It's quite nice. Um, we do have unlimited money, so uh, that's just so, to get used to things. Even this little subtle detail in the car park, I quite like. Uh, zooming into trees, this looks really good. Like, it does look very nice. Anyway, down the bottom, you'll notice... You'll notice here we can do a free cam. You've also got the, what the weather is, time of day, pause, and you can also take up the game speed if you want. You also have notifications here, which obviously will be implemented during the game once it's actually fully active from that. But, first of all, we have paths and queues. So you get straight paths, which kind of speaks for itself. You can make a nice wee small one. Just click. And it, like, it, I love how you can do this. Like, it just so effortly, effortly, effortlessly does it. This, it smooths it out really, really nicely. And you can quickly just build those out if you wish to. Yep, you get rid of that, get rid of that, rid of that, rid of that, rid of that, rid of that. Now, one thing I want to point out is people might be wondering what the hell is this? Basically, the character models aren't in currently. I think it's just a way to maybe just keep focus on a certain area. But you, your characters are sort of ghost-like at the moment. I'm not entirely sure uh, what they're planning to do. But you've got a lot of different... Uh, pathways you can do here. I quite like uh, the sci-fi because it's really cool. What I mean by this is see this mouth wheel here. You can actually create this if you want. You can even make it really tall. Like really really tall if you want people to really really walk incredibly high for some godforsaken reason. I don't know. You, you might want to do that. You also have curved paths which actually work really nice. I'm just going to switch to the hex because I love the sci-fi hex. And if you do this, and then it will then curve around. It also changes all your path to be like that. And it's really cool. I just like it. It's nice wee subtle details that, you know, make your part feel cool. Now, next up we actually have scenery. Now, they've actually put a lot in here. And I do believe they'll start to add more. Because, um, but you've got lampposts. You've only got these currently, which all look sort of like, like old-fashioned at the moment. Um, I'd quite like to see maybe some just modern day... Uh, ones to be put in, but obviously I do believe that this probably isn't all the, the ones they're going to add in. Um, just, you know, initial ones at the moment. Uh, one thing I will say is, like, you've got this Atari and the, I think it's at Nivio, Nivizo. Probably saying that really wrong. As you've got this, it doesn't look like this when you put it down. And also, uh, just uh, while I'm there, is like, if you hold the mouse, uh, shift and use the mouse wheel, you turn objects in whatever direction you want. But yeah, it's it's not like the image, which is like odd. Maybe the mo it's possible the model actually changed just before they posted it. I also wish I was there was a Scotland flag. 
I really want the Scotland flag. You also got your, like, the, you might think that's like, oh, that's a bench, but you've got benches, bins, little things here and there. You know, you can put these down. Uh, that will start to work out. The reason why it's red right now is because we don't actually have any path. You can only put some certain things on here. Um, some things need to be next to a path. They can't actually be on a path. The bin, I believe, you can actually put on the path. And you can actually, you know, turn around and have a bin for people. You know, when they come in the door, if you really want. And it's, like, nice to be things like this. You can make start to make your, does your little place look lively? Uh, can I just put that bench down? But I'm going to put a sci-fi bench because that's what we're after. It needs to be sci-fi bench. Uh, invalid location. You can put things in, like, that bit. Um, so keep that in mind. Uh, we also have fences. A lot of fences here. The only thing, uh, it feels, I think, they need a few extras. Like, there's nothing that sort of feels very sci-fi in this particular thing. Like, you've got your wooden ones as well, because you've got some wooden coasters you can put up and wooden rides that will come. Um, and then you've got sort of metal and iron, but there's nothing that screams sci-fi in this area to kind of keep the theme going if you wanted that. But that's just one thing. It's basically just nitpicking. But uh, decor, 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 whatever you wish to call it, has some interesting things. I like this one. The Mayans were wrong in 2012. I like it. Uh, also, we've got some decor that actually, you know, you can put in a spire if you want. Um, you can put in this little guy if you want. And you can have a crashed UFO if you want. And then we've got other things that could, because you can have certain bits. You always find, if anyone's be uh, lives in the UK and went to Alton Towers, uh, I've never been abroad, so I've never actually, like I've seen videos and everything, but I've never actually been there. But in Alton Towers, you had like different areas, um, like in Nemesis, it's all sort of dark and nitty gritty, and then you've got uh, the runaway mine train, which has a sort of a very wooden uh, sort of feel to it and environment. So you can do this with this, and then you can also. Go in here and create, you've got some rock faces and you've got some sci-fi stuff and you also have some, you know, hay bales and some rocks and everything. you can create and just flourish out and then you've got this which you could have like, because like you can essentially make a runaway mine train really if you wanted to and you, you could put in some nice wee decorations. There's also pumpkins. So I'm going to have pumpkins because pumpkins. Because it's Halloween and I'm having pumpkins. Um, you've also got some bushes and whatnot, just, you know, some basic things, like, you know, you could put down some bushes and everything. Um, you've got foliage, which is just a ton of different flowers and stuff. You've got little loads. I also like this, because you've got different ones. You've got the beveled, the circular, the square, and the borderless, which is just really nice. And nice big beds. It's just something to make the park look more alive. Just look and feel like something. This is pretty cool. Nice wee circle garden there. And you've got some of them. You also have a uh, loads of different trees. and um, Like something that might be cool for some Halloween stuff. You know. And then you've got some speciality which includes a nice big fountain. You know, you just pop that down. That's a pathway already there. And um, one thing I will say is if you already have that a pathway. Because I had it like sitting uh, just nicely um, beyond the pathway that was leading to a ride. Is it tends to stutter between them because it can't quite make up its mind. Um... Obviously, please bear in mind it is better, so things can and will change that way. I don't know if it will do it here on camera. No, because that's already changed. What if I took this out here just now? And just to try and see if I can replicate that problem. Yeah, it does this for some odd reason. Um... Which is a little bit weird, but other than that, it's like, uh, it's pretty much fine. But you do have, so, you know, certain things, like I've got number two here, you can select, and you can make it taller, and you can make it lower. And number one, obviously, it alters its way it's facing. What I might do is do a nice wee fountain as you come in the door. And that's it. See, it's sitting okay there, it's just, it, sometimes it likes to be a bit iffy. Right, so before I go on to the coaster builder, because we don't have like flat rides and buildings, that was the other t the two I was on about previously. You also have the move tool, which will just essentially move whatever item you've got. You can do that with coasters if there's space. Um, although bear in mind, sometimes the coaster can be like, yeah, this is fine, and then you turn it to test, and it smacks your coaster into someone's face, or or another coaster. But coaster is here. I will show this in a moment. We also have rays. You can. Raise this up. You can also increase the strength and increase it all the way up. 
You can do this and flatten it. You can also put it all the way down. You can lower it. No, wait, I said lower it, dang it. You can lower it all the way down. You can flatten it all out to be one. And it's nice that the sound effect actually stops when you've kind of flattened it. And you've got smooth, you can smooth it out. You also have paint, you can only have sand. You've got mud that's not currently in, you've got grass, I want some dark grass. There we go, nice. I actually noticed they're using that while recording. If I do this, that actually halves the frame rate, interesting. That's something to note there, it's like, I'm running at 60 FPS, it's really really good, but as soon as I hit the button on this, it's dropping to about 25 to 30 frames per second. Which is odd, because all you're doing is painting some grass. Hmm, I wonder if it does the sand. Yeah, it seems to be the paintbrush sort of on this. So that's something worth it. What I love though is you can do water. The water doesn't do it, and you can drown everybody if you really want to. Ha ha! How you have some water? Um, but you can actually create, you know, a nice wee ditch. There we go. There we go, and then we can fill some water. There we go. Nice wee pond of water. S simple like that. But now the main attraction, a coaster builder. So right now you have the hyper coaster, the wooden coaster, stand up coaster, dive coaster, floorless coaster, flying coaster, the inverted coaster, accelerator coaster, and wing coaster. Ah, jeez. You also have blueprints, which is always quite nice. Um, now I don't know how blueprints might work. I don't know if you could maybe save your own coasters out and just completely just buy it in as the one on things. And obviously they've got the Steam Workshop. And the lovely music. The Steam Workshop and everything's in there, so it's probably going to have something like that, which is pretty cool. I also noticed that was awesome. Just be sun there. But every t when you click these, it's going to give you a brief description. Like the Hyper Coaster is a type of steel roller coaster with a drop height of 200 feet or more. And what I found when building some of these, because what I'll do is I'll load up my save um, that has three coasters built. Two of them work, I think. One of them's still a bit uh, iffy, but it's more of a here's a death defying thing. If you survive, then okay, good for you. Um, I find that like you can make whatever you want. Like there's a, like um, the hyper coaster is like you know you'll get sort of initially the same track. Some of them will have different things. Like ones will hang from hang from the rail. Some are above the rail. Some are on the side of the rail. Um, so some of the stuff looks slightly different. Like you have your your chains that drag the coasters up. Anybody who's a fan of roller coasters or anything like that. So there is that, and some will have. Um, I believe which one is it? This one. That right at the start has the coaster will come out, and it has a little latch that grabs it on and just shoots it off. Um, I believe it's Rita at Alton Towers had that. But it's something like that, if you know, depending on what you want. But a lot of coasters can be made, you know, with any of the track and everything. So it's like, right, do I want one that's a hanging coaster? Is that like a, st a floorless coaster, which sounds terrifying. And you've also got the stand-up one. And each of them, each of the coasters usually come with about two to five different coasters you can just choose. It's like colour and sort of variation of the model and whatnot. But what we'll do is I'll show you a coaster or build a coaster. It'll probably be terrible, so please forgive me. Um, this is all about learning for me. Uh, I'm no coaster builder, but I'll probably learn. And then I'll take you to my save that's got three of them just built because I was just trying out things and learning the controls and everything. But um, what one do I want? Hmm. I'm going to go with floorless. A floorless is a type of steel roller coaster where riders sit with no floor underneath them, allowing their feet to swing freely on the track. And there you go. So you've got a selection of different stations. Now I'm going to go with this one because it's very futuristic. I'm going to place it here. Like you can turn the obviously the the actual map around if you want to. I'm going to like just leave it like this because I don't know. I'm just gotten used to it. I'll probably leave it like if I actually did the the series probably like this because I don't want that the other way. But. Because the entrance is the little green arrow, the exit is the little blue arrow. Now you can actually press shift and raise this up if you want, or raise it down. I'm just going to keep it on the ground just now as my first little coaster, and I'm just going to place that down. And immediately it wants you to start building the track. So to go over, you've got your standard track, just your track that does nothing else but be there. Then you've got your chain lift, which a lot of coasters will, at the start, have this mainly. You know, because you initially, if you want to put a hill for a bit of speed, or, you know, you could just have the, there is a friction brake, and there's also the booster. So the booster, you know, just speaks for itself. It shoots out, 
Another bit of thing. Um, please bear in mind that some, obviously, descriptions will, because I don't know if they're going to keep it just the booster description, or it might just, you know, be placeholder. And then you get the block break. The block break is obviously there. If you have more than one car on your track, it will stop the one previously until the other one's cleared that section of track for you. So you don't have nobody smacking into each other. Now, towards the right-hand side, you see one, two, three, four, five, well, four, should I say. Now, one keeps it, you know, uh, basically straight. Two allows you to bank it. Uh, if I got that back to right, and I like the wee dial um, on it. I do believe that like, you can zoom right in; it's nice and clear. But you zoom right out; it's it's quite small. Although I can understand what that. Um, it is readable to me. I could understand some people might not be able to read that. Three allows you to actually bank the whole track, and four, I believe, kind of twists the the joint you've got like forward or back, so it kind of creates you know. If I wanted to bring this back in, to bring this back in, oh, bring that back this way, and four, you can bank it up if you wanted to. So if I wanted to then maybe create a chain lift here, then go back to one, and just you know raise it up. Now, the colour underneath, white usually means, yeah, this is okay. Yellow usually means, that might be a bit iffy. Red means, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that, you'll kill everyone. <laughs> but yeah, um, we're just going to, um, maybe do a, f a four to kind of bring that bank down a bit. And then, if we extend this over to about here. There we go. Now, if you want sort of a little bit of track section to be something, you're going to need to make it a little bit. Because you can't do this, and then this, and then go over it. It's like, right, okay. You can, you cannot, like, you can select sort of joints and, you know, twist it and turn it. But you can't sort of change the whole section. But you can also change, like, little chain speed. Like, if I want, if I want this track to be, you know, chain speed, right, I want that up. And I want this up, because I want people to have a fast little takeoff. There you go. Um, this bit though, I want it bulldozed. No, 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 okay. Never mind, I forgot I had to do it. So if you want actually rid of it, go wait. No, give me the coaster back. God dang it. Build. It's a daft thing. So I'm just gonna switch this back. Where do I want it to go? Where do I want it to go? Hmm. I want it to go down. You probably want it to go down. I also want it to bank though, so I'm gonna get two and I want it to bank Nope, other way. I believe. Yeah, we're gonna get it to bank down. Yeah, round about there. So there we go, and it needs to be bank and spins around. And it'll come through here. And start to switch the other way. Now the only thing is, is some of these are a bit like, no, it won't do this and whatnot. So uh, we want it to kind of bank that way, and we want it to swing that way. Uh, there we go. Uh, will it work? Yes. And turn it around a little bit more. There we go. And around a little bit more. And around a little bit more. There we go. Now I tend to kind of build my track and then go over like this area is probably going to slow down or I'll test it as well. Um, what I want to do though is I want to bank this this way and then bank it that way. Will it extend it out enough work? Uh, mm. See the only thing is this probably isn't going to work. Uh, maybe if we bring that round. Uh, okay, and bring it that way. Ah, it's totally not going to work the way I wanted to go. Go the other way. Go the other way. It's probably a terrible idea to put that there in red. And that's invalid location. Now, one thing you have to watch out for is sometimes if your track's too low, it's going to smack into you. There's a lot of physics involved, like. You know, if you put a physical object in front of someone's face, if they're on a coaster and their face smacks it, they're going to die. Who would have thought? <laughs> um, I'm actually going to try and see if I can start to lift this up. 
Invalid location, okay. You don't like that. Uh, if we could spin this around. Uh, is that away from the track? Yes, okay. Because basically I want to start to bring it up again. But I'm probably going to need another chain lift to bring it up. There we go. Nope, uh, we wish to go that way, please. And then we're just going to bring it all the way back down. Nice and steep, st steep there. Um, switch it back to normal. And go that way. There we go. Alright, so we can test this, but first I'm going to just jump to train. So we got basically these ones. I'm going to go one of them. You can also change the colour. Now you get three different areas you can change. So this will change the rail. So let's go for a nice red. This will change the actual inside bit. So let's go for a nice black. And this will change the basically the poles, which uh, will go black as well. That's so cool. You can actually change... I don't know if it's maybe yet or it's to be implemented, but you can't change the colour. Like you can choose between sort of di slightly different models in colour. But you can't change the actual colour of the station. That could be an idea. Um, but yeah, I'm going to quickly test this. You can stop it, test it, open it. Now, there doesn't seem to be an option that says closed. Or there's a, it doesn't like highlight open to tell you this is open. So it's something to kind of consider um, for it. But I didn't want to open that. I really didn't want to open that. I wanted to test it. Right. So you can actually speed this up so we can actually see how well this does. This is going to break, isn't it? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Is it going to fly off? It's not actually flying off the rails. This is not bad. Now you will get a thing come up, say, you know, pass, failed, there'll be certain parameters. Uh, oh yeah, that actually worked really well. That passed, nice. Safety, 11.1. .1. Nausea, not very much nausea. Excitement. I didn't actually change much of the track on that as well, and it went pretty darn fast. Now you can actually select bits here. And put booster or a, a block break. Um, what I might do is put a block break on this. Don't know. Ah, it's, it seems fine. It's something like I wanted to put in some booster or have stuff for like you know friction brakes. If I actually put like a friction break in here, you can take the speed up or down, which is quite nice. I'm just going to switch it back because that actually worked really well. Um, of course, you've got the, the bits there you can speed up, and we've done that as well. Um, what I might do is, because you can... And can I select the front one? Actually, make the front one a bit nice, we red. Uh, let's make that blue, 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 and red. Alright, so I'm actually going to test this little guy with a full track full. Will this work this time? So like you say, you can actually add on as well. Ooh, did that get too much speed behind it? Too much heavy weight? They're gonna get round that corner. Yep, that got round just fine. Could probably up this. Actually, no, because that was working just fine. So we'll keep that like that. Um, now there doesn't seem to be. If a coaster comes off the rail, it does tend to sit in your park. It doesn't seem to be any way that it disappears. But, right, so before we open this, we're going to need a pathway to it, of course. Um, I'm just going to quickly jump to this. And then I'm going to... Now, obviously, the, the pathway is here. So we're going to need to make a wee cube it. Um, now, what I like about the sci-fi one is see these panels, the blue panels? They light up at night. It's so freaking cool. Um, right, so I want the queue to possibly go out a little bit. Um, do you want a curved path? No. Let's uh, do this and make a little nice cue here to here to here to here to here and connect it to about there. Now we'll just jump back to the paths and head to here. So probably bring that about here and nope. Nope. Can I bring this out please? There we go. And then we can put the exit that way. But we can also connect, you know, this, these two up if we really wanted to in a sort of diagonal fashion. 
Very nice. Now we have people just funnel along and wait in queue and jump on. Now, one thing's to consider. This is this open. You also have admission price. I'm just going to bump this down. Obviously, we are have unlimited money right now, so it's not going to have there. You can also name your coaster. So, it begins. Oh, begins. wonder if anyone remembers that one. I don't want... Uh, no. don't want to remove it. Thank you. I don't know what I put on, but I don't remember this. Okay. Um, that seemed to be when I was pressing letters. That's one thing you probably might want to change is like, this is smash coaster one. So we'll keep that like that just now. I don't know if we got that there. So did I hit B or something there? Does B bring that up? No, E, I, N, S. I T S no S I T Ah can't work that out actually. But you've got here you've also got you know operating mode, you also got number of circuits. Currently it's like these doesn't allow you to add any more trains at the moment. I do believe that will also change, you know, cars per train, left hill chain speed, you know, all this, you've got so much stuff there as well. And you've also got some extra goodies there uh, that we can't currently access, but uh, obviously they'll come, uh, they'll become more active as time goes on. Are there people in that now? Ah, there's people shaking their arms when enjoying the ride, yay! Now one other thing you can do, is you can go on the train. And you can change seat if you want. I am going to sit here, sir. Uh, hello, everybody. How are you all doing? We all good? Woohoo! And you can be on your own roller coaster. It's so cool. And almost feel very nauseous. Ugh. And you can also, like, the camera will just go away for you if you leave it be. And then you can just be like, wee! And then we go. And then we can exit out that. But what I'm going to do is actually jump into my own save so you guys can see a few more coasters just in action. We wish to go to the main menu, thank you. And I'm just going to load up the smash save. Now please bear in mind that none of these are brilliant. One of them I quite like because it's got like falcons on it. Or eagles I think. So we have this. This thing's death. Like it's really death. You, you, you can watch this here. Um... No idea if this actually stays on yet. Been trying to figure this one, but this was my very first coaster. You can tell it's like, right, I'm just going to make it as high as humanly possible and see if anyone lives. So I'm just going to speed this up just now so that they can. Oh. Let's go. I paused it there, I think. And we have some lovely music. Obviously, probably more music uh, in the final releases. Very nice, uh, like, right, okay. So, this is going to go flying round the corners. Don't ask why everything twists. And then, whee! And I believe, because I had to put some stop bits down here and a way around, and they survived. Nice, nice, yeah, nice. Um, there is actually a little, uh, if I go into here, this is actually a booster force that allows it to kind of swing around because there is, in fact, uh, one here a brakes because when you come down from there and that's not brakes you fly off the track into the middle of nowhere I also have this little guy here which is always really cool um, I'm just gonna leave that open um, this guy's going flying around I do like this one it just works it's very nice very fast for everyone very kind of cool and got a nice wee area there and then there's this guy so I'm gonna test this guy There we go, up you go. This is one of the dangly ones. If anyone's been to Elton Towers, it pretty much reminds me of air. There we go, swings round and way round at that. There's some new coasters you're probably gonna pick apart at one point. It gets pretty low to the ground there. Everybody's sort of skimming their knees almost and away it goes. It's just really, really cool. Um, that was, it's actually technically failed, but it, it passed to me. <laughs> and then we get this guy, which I'm actually gonna do this in it. Hello, eagles. You've got, yep, you've got eagles here. And there we go. Oh, hello. You having fun there? Yeah, you clap your hands. 
of your hands and say the raid at all times. All that jazz. And away we go. This one gets pretty fast. Ugh. Nice short and sweet. But you can obviously, you know, jump into it if you really wanted to. Uh, jump into the train. And you've got these ones and you've got these ones. These ones obviously look kind of more futuristic. So I'm actually going to jump all these on. Let's see how it does this time. Uh, test. So obviously you've got this, you can create quite a lot of themes already. And I believe like with the Steam Workshop they've already got going on now. But maybe if they even add cosmetic packs and everything to the game. That would be pretty kind of cool. You know even if they had a, a Smash Gaming theme. <laughs> I can dream, I can dream. Ah, that looks pretty cool. Right, let's see how this does. So obviously we've got more carts, so you need some more things in here. But you can see like how it actually works and it's so nice. Like the models just look really nice. Like nice and sharp, no blurriness, all good. And away you go. So I've noticed that is quite a significantly amount slower. So what I'd do is I'll probably take these ones off. Can I actually take these off? It doesn't, like, no, we don't build those. No bulldozing. If I told you about bulldozing. It doesn't appear to be a way to take them off. Hmm. Dang it. I really want to. But uh, I'm going to change this, and I'm going to change this. I probably literally just missed how to do that. Uh, do that. And then we get this one. Does anyone want to ride this one before we go? I think we should. Does anyone want to even ride this one to death? Let's see. Um, if we test that. If we put... No. Wait. Open. Anybody want to go on this one? There you go. Come on, six, six unsuspecting victim. Now this one obviously has a few of the decorations and some pumpkins lying around. Um, of course you can just put loads if you want. I'm going to put some trees. You know, if you really wanted to, you can mix and match trees or just not from anywhere else. 